This is part two. Today I'm teaching you how to grow your money. If you have gotten an inheritance or a big bonus at work or you've won the lottery, I'm gonna teach you how to make it work for you instead of letting it fly out of your life. Now I know everybody wants to skip right ahead to investing because it's sexy, I get it. Who doesn't wanna make money while they sleep? The thing is, investing is not the first step to getting ahead with money because while making money is really great, not losing it is even better. So again, the first thing that I would do to start growing my wealth is update my financial step point. Talked about that in video one. And the next step would be to build up my financial foundation. This is going to include paying down any high interest debt. Anything over like six, 7% needs to be a priority. Number two, I would build out an emergency fund. You need to work up to six to 12 months of bare bones expenses in a high yield savings account. Number three, you need to update your money mindset and behaviors, things like your FSP. So many people come into money and then go broke because they skip that step. Now, once you have started on those steps and you don't need to be completely debt free and you don't need to have a full emergency fund, but you need to be on your way there, then you can start growing your money. And now anybody who tells you there is one single investment or one single account that is the best one for every person in every situation is freaking lying to you. There is no such thing as a single best investment or a single best account because not every investment or account is right for every person or goal. So then that begs the question, what is your goal? That's gonna be step one in figuring out what the best investment for you personally is. What is your goal for the money? What do you need it for? When do you need it? If your goal is short term, like less than five years, then that's not something that I would put into the stock market. It's too volatile. Instead, I would do something like a GIC in Canada, a CD in the US, or maybe a high yield savings account. The second step, once you've identified your goal, is to identify the best account for the goal. These accounts, your Roth IRA, your IRA, your TFSA, your RSP, those are not investments. They are simply accounts that hold money inside them. You use the money to buy investments. Each different account has different rules and different tax treatment. The reason why you would choose one account over the other is because of the way that it treats the income that you generate within the account, AKA how much are you going to get taxed on all the money that you make? The less taxes, the better. Then number three, that's when you start to identify the best investments for your goal. So let's say it's retirement. You could look at something like a simple target date fund. It's literally one click, one click, and it's everything you need. Your money will start growing for you. It will do everything for you. Now, if you want to learn more about this, we have free trainings available. You can find them on our website under freebies, or you can apply to work with me as your seven-figure mentor.